Hi guys, this is Dylan. I know I haven't posted in a couple months, and I'm gonna be posting this from a new channel because I lost access to my old one. I know that at least a few of you have seen a comment left by a friend of mine, Erica, expressing that I am alive and I just lost my way of communicating online for a little while, so I've been taking this time actually to try and ground myself more and to try and process more of my trauma around this channel. Um, right now I am recording this from a place of trauma more so than I hoped. I was going to do this earlier today and um, then someone who had been friends with my husband for years and who I met more recently and thought was a friend um, acted in a really fucked up way towards me and I don't want to go into it. Um, it wasn't the most extreme thing but it was bad enough that it's put me in a space and then as I was leaving to go make this video uh, this lady charged me and my husband um, tried to start a fight by running at us and exclaiming that because she was angry over something that had happened with her husband she was going to unleash it all on me so yeah Homeless living is never easy. Um, it's not usually this terrible for me, but today has been a messed up day. Um, that being said, I decided that it was still worth it to me to try to make this video because I didn't want to let all of that stop me. I'm not sure how much I've talked about this in videos before, but it's always a struggle of mine trying to decide. Um, what is giving the trauma more power? Going ahead with my day as planned and doing things that I might not be so capable of because of the traumas or um, giving myself space around them to heal and postponing my plans until I do so. Sometimes I think one of those things is the right thing and other times it's not. Um, right now I've just decided that I'm gonna go ahead and do this anyways so um, I'm actually not far from where that where both of these things happened um, and I wish it wasn't like that but that also it's part of what makes being homeless so difficult if, well just having to always kind of be in the same area sometimes like sometimes I find that I can travel and um, there's a freedom that I don't have when I'm inside and other times um, my situation is such that I feel very confined to certain areas and it's very hard um, but actually um, somebody just blessed me with a bus pass that is going to make um, getting out of the area I'm in when I need to a lot easier so I'm happy about that so anyways, not trying to be rambly, just shaken up, um, regretfully, because I was hoping to be more connected, more grounded to make this. Um, but anyways, so a few updates, I guess. Um, in this time, we've traveled back to a place that we lived in the past, um, not where we're from originally, but... Um, a place that we went to early in our healing uh, and uh, one that we do have a lot of trauma around but also a lot of positive connections in. Um, so it's been very mixed being back here but it felt like the right thing to do for a number of reasons. Um, something that we and our husband agreed upon and just it's what's flowed. So. We're trying to uh, get the most out of this experience and um, definitely intend to leave in not terribly too long, but we're somewhat rooted where we are for the moment. Um, 
something I've been doing is trying to take advantage of the fact that there is a lot of opportunity for nature here. Um, you know, connection with the outdoors in some pretty unique and beautiful ways. And so I've been trying to just get in touch with that and be more creative. I've continued to work on art projects and sewing and I even have tried to do some activism offline here surrounding human trafficking and uh, I don't feel like I can go into it right now but um, that's been really traumatizing honestly. Um, some positive things have absolutely come from it but there's been so much harassment. Um, I just, I've been taking a break the last week or two because of it. Um, but I am continuing to do my own inner work and heal and something that's really big news is that um, I have been working on a book. Um, I'm going to be sharing it as a free ebook when it's time to, um, but I am very, very much trying to take it seriously as, you know, a book and not just any project. Um, it's a big deal to me to do that. Um, I don't know how much to say about it right now, um, but I guess a couple things I'll say is that, you know, it's very heavy about trauma. Um, there's a lot of, uh, fragments of trauma memories that I share in it. The whole thing jumps around a lot. Um, there's a lot of symbolic language. There's a lot of room for misinterpretation. And that pains me, but it's one of those things where I just have to put the information out there as I can and hope that its impact is positive and that if people do uh, draw false conclusions from it about us or about MK Ultra in general, you know, we just, I mean, it's the same thing with all the videos we've posted, you know, like, we can only be so clear and direct about certain things, um, and we know that even when we are as direct as possible, um, it's still so easy for people to misconstrue things we say because we're trying to describe just the most extreme pain really and well now I'm about to go off on a thing that I express in my book so maybe I'll just leave that thought for that but um anyways I feel like this isn't a very good video um part of what's going on with me right now making this is that um, I'm using a different phone and um, actually in an effort to not tilt the phone too much up at my face because <laughs> well that whole thing um, that I won't go into here um, I have been you know I had been making some progress around um, when I was posting in more recent times um, but uh, because I'm doing that, I you know try not to do that thing. I should say, um, I'm forced to look at my face uh, with all this contrast, and it's making it appear a certain color that's incredibly triggering. So you know what? I'm going to drop the gaslighting memories here out of my mind if I can, and I'm going to tilt the phone like this so that my face doesn't look that color because it's just too much. I was really trying, but if the contrast is going to be like that right now, like, I'm just freaking out looking at my face honestly like that. So, um, this is better for me. Um, I'm sorry if it's more awkward or triggering for anyone else, but, uh, this is going to make it possible for me to, uh, conclude this video in a more, uh, grounded way and to just suffer less with this whole process. And I'm sorry, but... I'm just in too much pain right now. So, um, some concluding thoughts here for the moment. Um, I am really sorry for people who have gotten worried about us, um, for anybody who had been relying on our frequent updates for a sense of, um, 
security, you know, in recovery from MK or around speaking out about these kinds of things. Um, I really want you to know that you've been in my mind and um, for people who I've lost touch with because I lost access to my Tumblr and Gmail accounts, um, I'm going to put some links to ways that you can contact me now. So hopefully um, communication can be restored with people who I had been talking to. Um, and of course, anyone else who wants to reach out um, who I'm on speaking terms with or have yet to establish any such terms with, um, you are welcome to reach out as well. But uh, I am probably no more capable right now than I have been in the last couple of years overall, you know, in responding to most people. So um, I can't guarantee your response, but um, yeah, I am trying to be online. Being homeless makes that very difficult, but um, I do have some friends here. I do have some help here uh, that will make it easier. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully you guys will uh, follow me here if you can, those of you who are able and feel inclined to, you know, I just hope that um, and I don't expect to build up my subscriber count to what it was before, you know, and um, I'm not really that concerned with that, but I am definitely concerned about reestablishing um, connections with people who, uh, you know, just anybody who needs to be connected. Okay, um, there's starting to be too many people around, I think, so I'm gonna go. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just want you guys to know that you're in my heart and I will be trying to post more content soon.